What is going on, people? It is your boy Mac, Daddy Mac, and welcome back to another Pokemon Sword and Shield Wi-Fi battle. We are against Susie. She's being a really cool team. Um, right off the bat, the lead is probably going to be either A, Ditto, or B, uh, Shuckle, which um, scares me. So because of that, I'm going to start Espeon. I got the Magic Bounce. Um, if you want to set up Self Rock Sticky Web, you're going to do that to yourself. So we're going to start the Espeon. If you guys missed the last Wi-Fi battle, check it out. It was a very good, intense battle. So very well thought out battle. For, um, also, one thing I have not done in a while. So props to myself for that last Wi-Fi battle. Um, what else was I going to say? I completely forgot. I don't remember what I was going to say. Pokemon Snap right around the corner. Um, I'm excited for that also. Did you guys pre-order? Let me know in the comment section down below. So like I mentioned, here comes the boy Shuckle. And honestly, I don't know what to throw at this thing. I don't know if I should side shock because it has really good defense. What is it invested in? Um, probably more physical defense than uh, special. So because of, I'm in a shadow ball. Lower defense, infestation. Very smart play on my opponent's end. Doesn't do so much damage, um, luckily for me. But now, my opponent cannot, and I repeat, my opponent cannot set up the Stealth Rock or Sticky Web. So that's the reason I started Espeon. I really do not want this thing to set up on us. So very good um, roll there. Toxic, you just bounce it to yourself, my friend. That's a waste of a turn for you. Okay, so we get rid of one of his biggest threats as far as the hazard setter goes in shuckle so that means no stealth rocks no sticky web which wouldn't be a problem anyways because i have rapid spin on my excadrill but i do not want to worry about um having to rapid spin on one of the turns um with excadrill because that would just give put me at a disadvantage having to worry about those hazards so shuckle goes down no hazards go play um are placed on our end so that's good very very good um, assuming he goes into the ditto My biggest answer to that is I want him to imposter my My Excadrill and the reason behind that is because I'm scarfed if he imposters my Excadrill He has a weakness to ground and I'm just gonna earthquake so Mimikyu comes out um, I am a little bit afraid of a uh, weakness policy, but at the same time, you know, what's the thing? Shadow Sneak is a thing. So I want a Garchomp. Part of me wants a Garchomp. Part of me doesn't want to Garchomp. Okay, yeah, we're gonna Garchomp because we're rough skinned. I really do, I, I, I have a feeling that Espeon is still valuable to me. So we're gonna go into Garchomp here. Sword Stance in the face. How bold, how bold of you. Very, very bold. Okay. I'm gonna Earthquake. I'm just gonna Earthquake here. Don't Dynamax. Okay, good. Good, good, good. At the very least, he loses 20... Uh, I believe it's 25% from Disguise. The Disguise being busted. And he's gonna take some damage from the Rough Skin. So it's kind of a win-lose for us. Oh. Okay. So you're trying to sweep. You're very you're you're already trying to sweep. I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, earthquake here. Oh, your sword dancing or your dynamaxing. I mean, bummer, bummer. Now what do I do though? At the very least, you can't shadow sneak anymore. So there is that. He does have the fairy type attack. There is that also. That's some pretty good damage. Unfortunately, we're not going to do any more damage to this Mimikyu other than that because it's going to wreck our team, unfortunately. You know what, though? It cannot. I think, I think we're good. Because now he sacrificed Dynamax over priority. Or he sacrificed priority for Dynamax. So now Espeon should be able to come in here and just um side shock or even shadow ball i'm gonna i got a feeling i want to shadow ball though it's just because it's super effective but at the same time if that's where shifu comes out i'm in a little bit of, a, of trouble so i'm just gonna shadow ball here 
I mean, oh, he outspeeds me? Since when is Mimic you faster than Espeon? Am I modest? What? Mimic you is how fast? It's it's under a hundred, isn't it? Ninety six, and my Espeon. It couldn't have been a tie unless I'm modest. One ten. Am I modest? Don't tell me I'm modest. I got a feeling I'm modest. I'm modest. I'm an idiot. I needed you. I needed you. We just Moltres here. Oh no, I thought I was timid this whole time. Nah, it is what it is. Moltres is going to outspeed anyways, and we're just gonna fire Wrath here. What? I'm so confused right now. What's Moltres' base speed? A hundred. It has to be a hundred. Moltres base speed. So we knew we know mimic you. 90. I thought it was just like regular Moltres. I just threw this in the trash for us. All you have to do is shadow sneak now. Wow, I'm an idiot. I'm so stupid. I'm very stupid. Oh my goodness. I mean, I'm just gonna Earthquake here. Okay, so at least he doesn't have the Shadow Sneak. But, now I I'm still in trouble. I'm in a big bind. I'm in a very big bind. I put myself in a big hole. I don't know how I'm gonna get myself out of that hole. But, I'm gonna go ahead and Jelly Sin here. Because we're, we're not only ghost typing, we're water type. Unfortunately, my jealous scent does not have water absorbed. It has the cursed body. I think... Um, so I'm definitely taking this. I'm definitely taking this. Um, what am I going to do? Jelly scent. Jelly scent. Now I just got to look at my phone. One thing I have not... Okay, so yeah, so I don't have the water absorbed. Otherwise, I, I, that would have been the perfect switch. But at the same time, cursed body is beneficial to me. Um, what I'm gonna do here, I really want a Will-O-Wisp. Doesn't matter if he goes into the Cinderace. Well, or he, well the, if I Will-O-Wisp the Ditto, then it's okay. And the reason behind that is because, okay, so U-turn, who are you gonna come out into? Easy. I take those like a champ. What am I gonna do? If I burn the Ditto, this is big. First and foremost. It's big. And the reason behind that is because, uh, well, Butterfree comes out. This Butterfree's kind of frail, so hopefully we land a burn on this thing. I, I know it has, I know it has Giga Drain, which is obviously not good. Oh wait, I thought I pressed Scald, but I pressed uh, Will O Wisp. It, it is what it is. Giga Drain is a thing, obviously. And it's probably gonna hit us with that. I'm gonna just take the opportunity to Scald. I'm gonna Scald. Because I really want to get some damage off of this thing. Quiver Dance, Sleep Powder, and it hits. Now it's gonna set up a Quiver Dance on me. That's fine. Um, because I actually got... I actually got the Min, Min Shao in the back. Obviously, it's no good that it's Quiver Dancing, because even at the... Okay, I'm good. I'm good. Here, here's what I'm gonna do, watch. I think he showed the leftovers. Yeah, leftovers. Okay. So you're gonna quiver dance. I already know that. I'm gonna be in Shao. I'm gonna fake out. And then I'm gonna hit you with the uh, um, knockoff. Imagine this is special um, Butterfree, though. That would kind of blow my mind. Substitute. What? Interesting. Interesting. Substitute quiver dance. That's what you do. Okay. I know what you do now. We knock off here. So it kind of threw me off guard. If you sleep powder again, come on. I know this isn't smoke on by sleep claws. It's a crit, not that it, that, that it matter or anything like that. Quiver dance, there it is. There it is. 
Okay, so at the very least, we're offsetting this, um, this damage, the, the, um, what's it called? The leftovers. At the very least, we're offsetting that with the burn. Hopefully, again, I said Butterfree is frail. This knockoff knocks out. I have the focus sash for reasons like this. So, Hurricane, it misses me and shout! Thank you. That's all I gotta say about that. Okay, knocks off the leftovers. I don't think you're running, so you showed me Quiver Dance. Yeah, I'm gonna go into Jellicent. It's done. There you go. We got rid of this Butterfree. We're gonna come back from this. Mark my words. With half of my team out, we're gonna come back from this. Hit me with that Hurricane. There you go. There you go. Okay. Unfortunately, that does a lot of damage to us. But I'm, I'm happy that Jellystone was able to come out and take it. And Man Shao is left untouched, essentially. That's good for us. Okay. Obviously, Excadrill's my win con. I need to weaken the Cinder Race. Now I can Earthquake anything I want, which is good. I can Earthquake anything I want. We're gonna Scald. We're gonna Scald here. Come on, Jelly Sin, wake up. Acrobatics? That's fine. Come on, disable his acrobatics. Please. Disable? Come on, Curse Body? Yes! Okay. There you go. That's what I needed. What I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna Strength Sap. It's called. Okay. Live. I'm asking you to live. Get the burn. Yes! Okay. Now Cinderace is worthless to, us, um, to my opponent. I'm gonna take this opportunity to should i double switch i kind of want to but at the same time i really want to recover he he rage quit he rage quit and i played like garbage let's find another wi-fi battle all right so we found another opponent with javier javier who's bringing a really cool team um a lot of weaknesses to ground four weaknesses to ground that's uh insane three weeks three weaknesses to fighting so well, Minchow's gonna have a field day. And so is Excadrill. As long as we play okay, this is definitely winnable. Um, my question is, who are you going to start with? Um, based on the looks of your team, I don't know, but I'm gonna start Jellicent mostly because I can hit you with the Scald or the Strength Sap or even the, um, what's the other attack I'm running? Um, strength, uh, strength Sap. I know I'm running Recover. Scald, Strength Sap. Or Will-O-Wisp. There you go. I don't know why I had a brain fart there. So, very cool team on my opponent's side here. Too many weaknesses to ground and fighting, though. Same thing with water, um, if I recall. Yeah, three weaknesses to, to water types. So, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this team. Anything can happen, of course. It's Pokemon. So, we'll see. I'm going to Scald right off the bat. I'm not too afraid of the Charizard, though. If it Gigantamaxes and hits me with that Max Overgrowth, then I'll be a little bit concerned. Um, but nothing for turn one. Okay, so he withdraws. I'm gonna scald it up here Who is this? Alola champion Luxray very good switch in Especially if it's guts So there is that I'm gonna scald it up We obviously do not want to take oh you burned Um, if it's guts we're in trouble, but I'm obviously gonna go into Garchomp why because um, he's probably gonna want to go into the wild charge Either that or, or volt switch. I would go wild charge Wild charge there you go. There you go. Um, and then I don't fear this thing Though it does have play rough especially with the guts boosted. So I'm honestly just gonna earthquake if he switches back into Charizard Then um, that's fine because I got the stone edge for that Charizard. So Drago comes out again Very good switch that's exactly what I was expecting also. Um, should I? Should I? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I'm Jolly Nature, I know that for a fact. Last battle, I, I, I messed up really bad. So I'm gonna go ahead and just Swords Dance it up here. You can hit me with the Dragon Pulse. I know you got the Dragon Pulse. I should be able to live it. I should be able to take one. There you go. I'm cool with it. I'm cool with it. I'm gonna Dragon Claw. It's Stab. It's not super effective, but I'm a plus two. And I'm Life Warp, so it should knock out. That's what I thought. 
beautiful shiny by the way i love Ch uh, shiny charizard though the last time i built a charizard team which was in this uh game my team wasn't so good unfortunately he has extreme speed so unfortunately we let garchomp go down here oh we don't we actually outspeed focus ash is a thing right i knew it i knew it you hit me if, if you're special then um bad news for me but good news is if you oh i think he's running bullet punch but even at that we should be fine garchomp right off the gate got two ko's and that's good that's very good for us bullet punch with double ko basically double ko so now we go back into blinds i feel really comfortable going jellicent again though here comes the jellicent we, we don't play bad with this team this team is really really balanced i really like it jaws comes out who's this garchomp okay i'm cool with it what i'm gonna do i'm gonna strength sap here because obviously it outspeeds me it's gonna want me to it's going to want to hit me with something protect is good that's a good play don't rage quit on me, please. Because then I'll have to do three Wi Fi battles in one video, and I don't want to do that. I'm going to straight tap again, though. What you going to do, Jaws? Crunch? I haven't seen a, a Garchomp with Crunch in a long time, though. Who is this? Godzilla the Tyranitar. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with it. Sandstream, which neutralizes my leftovers at this point. But does it fail if I have. Oh, Air Balloon. That's interesting. Okay, so it doesn't fail. So now this um, Tyranitar is at minus one attack. So that's good for us. That's very good for us. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to Will-O-Wisp. Because all of his Pokemon are physical attackers. Except for... No, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to Scald. Because if he goes into Luxray, then that's bad for us. That's very bad for us. We should be able to take... Oh, we, we can take one or two. We can take this. All right. Please burn it burn please no no burn okay that's fine i am gonna straight sap again i think that that's what we have to do i think i take another one please be a low roll please be a low roll crunch again low roll come on yes boys that's what i'm talking about strain sap that should bring me to almost full if not full Come on. His team gets walled by Jellicent. So it it's actually brings me to half. But that's fine because I got the recover. And I think... I, I don't think we recover. Should we? Yeah, because Garchomp... I, I don't want his Garchomp to take me out. I really don't. His Garchomp is one of the biggest threats to me. So, yeah. Alright, here comes the Shazam again. I'm going to recover it up here. Okay. So what I want to do now. I honestly have no clue what I want to do next. At the very least, Shazam is uh, getting damaged little by little. Does it take burn damage? I think it should, right? Yes. Okay. So my leftovers went first. Does that mean I outspeed? I kind of don't want to out. Uh, I don't want to try it though. I don't want to risk the biscuit, especially because my my Pokemon is too valuable compared to his team. Well, against the team, I should say. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna Mian Show. We're gonna fake it out. Get this battle moving a little bit. I bet you he wasn't expecting this. What are you gonna go for? Wild Charge. Yikes. So Mian Show goes down. Unless this is the last turn of sand, which I forgot to count it, to be honest. Okay, thank goodness. And here comes the burn damage. Okay, that's good. That's very good. I'm going to just fake out here. And then the burn should uh, get rid of it. Man, really good team. Okay, here comes the Garchomp, I bet. Yeah. Jaws the Garchomp. I'm cool with it. Do a little bit of chip damage. Some is better than none, I always like to say. And then I'm going to just go ahead and go out into Espeon. 
And I'm gonna Dazzling Gleam. That's what I'm gonna do. So I learned that Moltres' base speed is 90. So obviously, if this thing is Jolly, then it knocks my Espeon out, unfortunately. But regardless, protect again. Okay. Kind of scouting what he wants to do, and that, that's perfectly fine. What does he have? N really nothing. I'm cool. Earthquake. So he does outspeed me. He's jolly nature. Wow. That one shots me. Obviously, I'm an Espeon. He's a Garchomp. He's a pseudo. Okay. Honestly, what I'm just trying to do, I'm trying to whittle down his jaws as much as I can because I know for sure Excadrill can come out and just um, sweep the scene. I'm gonna Will O Wisp. Earthquake, that's fine. We take those. We take those. Okay. We come to Will O Wisp. We hit, thank goodness. And then we recover. Man, Jalison, I love you. <laughs> I like this book. I've always liked this in Generation 5. It's a very cool Pokemon, and it's been very good to me. We recover. Earthquake again. We should be able to take this. We actually tank it. Okay, that's what I'm talking about. It's a crit! A crit did that? Your Garchomp needs some training to do, my boy. Sword, dance it up. Do something. Do something. Okay. HP is restored. This is good. I'm a happy man. Okay. I'm gonna strain sap just because I wanna get my health back up. Because the Tyranitar is another crit. This Garchomp has been going to the gym or something. Wow. Very cool. Very cool. I think this brings me to full. I can be wrong. Does it take into consideration the burn? I think it does. Oh, it does not. Wow. Now this Garchomp is useless to my opponent. Wow. Okay. I'm going to Scald and that should be the end for that Garchomp. That should be the end. Okay. What are you going to go for? Luxray? Who is this? Oh, Lycanroc. This, this god should be able to do some pretty significant damage to it. There you go. Burn? No burn. That's okay. I think Jellyson has done everything for us. We're good. You want to crunch? You can. You got the tough cloth, unfortunately. But at least Jellyson does its job. Wow, Jellyson! I'm, ha I'm proud of you. I am very proud of my Jellyson right now. Wow, I, I didn't think I'd be able to tank those hits to be honest Though it's a big jellyfish. It's it's thick Of course we tanking those hits. Okay Come back out into jaws. That's fine. I'm gonna strength that because I should be able to live an earthquake Come on <laughs> Oh my goodness my opponent is probably getting frustrated and I don't blame him Man, Jellicent is as un as much as it's really underrated. Probably as much as Lantern. Wow. I'm I'm impressed. I'm highly impressed. I'm gonna scald again. I think his Tyranitar is burned. So it's 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 good. Bring out the T-Tar, boy. Godzilla. So his Godzilla is not burned. I thought it was. Is it his Lycanroc? That got the no. That the, what's is what's the other Pokemon that has the status condition? Burn it. Burn it. No. Okay, that's fine. That is perfectly fine. I'm just gonna scald again. I can honestly just come in and sweep with the uh, with what's your name, Excadrill. He's Dynamaxing. That's that's fine by me. That is fine by me. Now he really is Godzilla though. Look at this. Giant 
giant type Rhinotar and a shiny one at that. So it's a very special Godzilla. Okay. Max Darkness. Probably not enough to knock me out, but it's gonna come very close. It actually knocks me out. I take that back. Okay. Okie dokie. Um, I'm just gonna come into Moltres. That's it. We're just gonna Moltres here. Do a little bit of damage to this Godzilla. With Fiery Wrath. Why not? Why not? I just want to be sure Exodrill can come in and just sweep his team. That's all I want. I really don't think Moltres, even though the team has been built around Moltres, Moltres has not done enough to showcase why it's a special Pokemon. It's been mostly the other team members in the team. You can do that if you want. I actually live that. That's surprising. Can you, com I think you can't confuse a, a, a Dynamax Pokemon. So what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna Hurricane. That's, oh, wait a minute. This is gonna miss. Oh, it doesn't. And it I think it only has a 50% chance, unless that's only in sun to hit. So good job. Very good job, Moltres. Okay. All we gotta do is go into my boy Excadrill and we sweep it up. That's it. Unless the Lycan Rock happens to be scarfed also, and Jill runs me, it's game. It should be game. It should be game. Okay, we're gonna Earthquake. Just press Earthquake. Garchomp goes down. Lycanroc goes down. Oh, Lycanroc went down. I think this Pokemon that's remaining is the Luxray. Yeah, that's his other Pokemon that's hit with a status. Okay. And there you go. Sandstorm subsides, so nothing to fear. Who do you bring in next? I like Exudrill a lot. One of my favorite Pokemon. Jaws comes out, which is useless. And Exudrill just cleans up. I think that's twice already where Exudrill cleans up on a Wi-Fi battle for us. Okay, Exudrill hits. There you go. This team is flawless. This team went 3-0. We're going to do another Wi-Fi battle with this team just because... Just cause, not right now, not in this video, but Shazam comes out, shiny Luxray, and then we just Earthquake it, that's game. That is game, ladies and gentlemen. There you go. Beautiful Excadrill, I, I am, I'm so happy right now. That's 3-0 with this team. Hopefully I don't jinx it, but that's, that was perfect. That was perfect, even against that Shokul team. That was perfect. Okay, taking your lead card. That's gonna be it for this Wi-Fi battle. Make sure that you guys leave a like if you enjoyed. Comment down below on your vote for the MVP. Um, in my opinion, it's gonna be the um, jelly scent. Jellyfish, jelly, the jelly scent. But subscribe to my channel for more Wi-Fi battles. It's gonna be your boy, Mac Daddy Mac signing off. Make sure you leave a like. I'll see you guys next time.